In Istanbul, it's raining cats and dogs. Turkey's cultural capital is home to 15 million human inhabitants and tens of thousands of four-legged strays. Far from being treated like pests, the animals are cared for by the authorities. This city-sponsored veterinary bus travels to different neighborhoods, where residents bring homeless cats and dogs in need. He needed help. We saw that his eye was shut. We work on the campus and we often contact the town hall when we see animals in need of treatment. When these animals are unhealthy, some parasitic illnesses can be transmitted to humans. So keeping these animals healthy is actually keeping the people around them healthy, which makes our work all the more important. More than 400 municipal workers, including 80 vets, are tasked with picking up poorly strays or those not yet registered, like this orphaned two-month-old puppy. The animal is treated with antiparasitics and vaccinations, then fitted with an electronic tag. If it needs more care, the vets will bring it to one of the city's six animal clinics. We know all the dogs thanks to their tags. The electronic tag system that I'm showing you now, this is the device for reading them. Once we scan them, you can see the number here. And with the number, we can find all the information we need to know about this dog on our database. And it's not only the sick who are looked after. Every day, more than a tonne of food is distributed to cats and dogs living in the wastelands surrounding the city. It's a way of staying on the pack's good side, but for locals, there's more to it than that. In Turkey, because of our beliefs, we must be compassionate to other living beings. Their situation weighs on our conscience, so we cannot simply abandon these animals. Some 145,000 animals have been tagged and identified by the city council and their team. Thanks to their monitoring system, not a single